I'm a bit sad. Why am I sad? At this event, which is conducted here within three days, during some sessions we had to listen from very respected people. Uh, we, we, we had to listen that radionuclide therapy is aggravating the prognosis of patients with bone metastasis. What is most interesting with the attempts to stop talking with a person, we found out that that was his, his, not his opinion, but someone mentioned, or that was opinion because uh, patients after Stronson came to them. And it was not now, but some time ago. And people sitting in the room perceive it as a rule. So today, I have to say it's not the case. I'll try to show you why it's not. What do we have in our country? Two preparations as a strong chlor uh, chloride and samari. Uh, three other preparations which go through clinical clients. Two uh, preparations I'm going to talk about, and one of them is uh, strontium chloride, a foreign drug. The indications and counting indications. Mm, I will not talk about them in detail because formally they haven't changed within a long period of time. But what's new and what has been added, I'll later tell you what has been added. It happens that uh, this recommendation of 2007 and uh, as the one of uh, the representatives of previous said, uh, said the following. This is recommendation, but oncologists have never read it. Recommendation is good. It's written for the doctors of nuclear medicine, but oncologists never read it. Uh, the, that is why we have this tragic misconception with regards to bad impact of radionuclear therapy on the total development of uh, metastatic disease in patient complexities of managing such patients. And of course, we and our experience and foreign experience show that strontium chloride is a drug which a narrow range of uh, application. It can be applied in the situation when there are less than 10 uh, lesions. Of course, you can put the number 6 or 11. It's not critical, but there have to be not many uh, lesions. Uh, long bone lesions is a special sign uh, that and strontium chloride should not be used. In the chains and uh, column Samara XC before, it's a, a preparation of another principle of fixation, the bone tissue, is a phosphone uh, component. And the first one is uh, calcium phosphate, and uh, uh, the period of half decay, uh, uh, these, uh, these figures uh, tell about them. Pain syndrome, uh, which has to go through therapy in samarium, it, uh, there can be any instrument, so you cannot uh, wait uncontrolled pain syndrome, only at the initial stages. And the most important difference is the fact that you can expect uh, well predicted and badly uh, um, predicted miller suppression from strontium. All re all um, here is uh, strontium chloride. You all know this preparation is very convenient. Uh, so it's convenience and use that I'm writing about. So I don't see, uh, of course, there is no doubt that it is, uh, this trace is user friendly, which can be stored for a month. But you have to measure after a month of storing what will be left of it. As for transportation, it's comfortable. There is no gamma radiation. You can store it safely, but you will not receive any image on gamma chamber. I mentioned the drawbacks. You see the pictures when 
one can use uh, this operation when you cannot, the red shows that you don't have to use strontium chloride in the beginning, if you remember how it was. So a patient was treated and treated, then came to a dead end. Oh, yes, there is strontium. Let us introduce it. As a rule, those who are such patients, and everybody remembers that it ends not very well. Summary, its advantages, quick action, imaging opportunities, diagnostic pair. So you won't see the difference on this slide. The uh, Tiffany 4, uh, Tiffany Oxy 4 and Samari Oxy 4, Oxy 4 acid uh, are the same carriers. Uh, as for well-prognosed myelotoxicity, uh, still, there are some problems. Too short period of uh, application, difficult to transport, and a very high price. There is no logic about such expensive price in this expensive price. Radio. This is not our preparation. And of course, it's in the top preparations in the world. Everybody talks about it. The only preparation with a proven influence on survival, unfortunately, or, or fortunately, is only registered for prosthetic cancer, but actually for all osteoblastic metastasis, it will be the same. Extremely high price. And the fact that this preparation is uh, foreign uh, one, these are the minuses and that can cross out all the benefits. What do we juxtapose in this situation. This is the new generation of preparations based on generator. Probably will be the same as in radionuclide diagnostics when technetic generators appeared. There was a revolution. Probably such revolution can happen in therapy when there are generators. Here you understand that generator is in the clinic. You don't need to transport it. Uh, there are economic advantages. Uh, uh, there is 17 hours uh, semi-decay period, uh, while energy of beta particles is very powerful, which make it efficacious. Gamma radiation is at place. You can receive an image, and uh, that uh, maternal radionuclide, 69 days, can long, uh, stay long in the clinic in a big range of preparations on the basis of rhenium that can be obtained in the clinic, they are shown here on the slide. We conducted two studies with these two domestic uh, preparations, rhenium and phosphorin. Those are different groups of patients with bone metastasis. Here you see this group with the absence of time. I won't talk in detail about this study. It's enough to show that separation does work, and it works the same way as foreign analog of renew GDB. Uh, so we created our own uh, good preparation that will find good place in the current uh, line of traces that are available. And I think it will solve those transport and logistic problems that I've mentioned. But here is a special achievement. Uh, this is a special uh, achievement, uh, global achievement. It Maybe someone might not believe it, but this preparation has no analogs of the world because uh, Zolindronic acid uh, taken as a base is uses uh, is used as a therapeutic and transport agent. Uh, Rhenium 188 is incorporated there, and we have a unique substance. And uh, as to this preparation, there are much more studies, much more patients, and uh, with the absence of time, I cannot talk uh, in detail about these studies and this preparation. At present, I would say that out of all uh, preparations uh, on the Russian market, this is the leader, and probably in terms of efficacy, and the efficacy will be achieved in a different way, as, uh, same way as strontium chloride, different ways of achieving high efficacy. What 
what is typical about the lindronic uh, acids with rhenium is the fact that there is a high gradient between uh, the lesion and healthy bone. Thus, a low melotoxicity of this operation is achieved and high exposure on the lesions. Uh, the unique properties is a combination of chemical exposure of zylindronic acid is the most powerful uh, out of those bisphosphonates, uh, the most powerful uh, preparations of the well-known beta radiator. And if we speak about the developments, we have to speak about methods, uh, methodology we know, which patients better respond. If you recruit such patients, start with those with prosthetic and breast cancer, start with, you shouldn't start therapy when all methods have been exhausted. At least you have less than 20 lesions. Don't wait uh, for uncontrolled pain syndrome. This cytokine attack on all organs and tissues will not uh, uh, help radionuclear therapy work to a full extent. Of course, these combined methods uh, work very well together with radionuclear traditional uh, therapy, vertebroplasty, chemotherapy together. And this one slide, uh, I could have started with it, uh, shows what is available in this informational uh, topic. There has been an evolution, and we see this evolution. It's taking place now. We see what was when we started therapy with traces. Those ideas that are in the minds of those who just seen that consequence. No one distinguished between traces. Uh, they were using only with as immune therapy, single introduction. Now we've seen that differences of different preparations between themselves. Uh, we learned how to select uh, them, uh, combined methods, uh, repeat introductions are able to create the model of radiometabolic therapy that will result in the improvement of survival of a patient. And of course, the future stands for generator of preparations, new schemes, and new targets, tumotropic agents and transmembranic transporters. This is how these new tasks look like, transitioned from uh, uh, anti-pain therapy, then increase of the lifespan. Thank you very much, Valeria Vasic. Very interesting, informative presentation. Questions? Senilkin Ivan Gennadievich, Tomsk. I have an experience of uh, treating such patients. It concerns only prosthetic uh, cancer, prostate cancer. Yes, there is an ex foreign experience and there is national experience in the routine work and during clinical trials. If what is important, you would agree that not every doctor, before he introduces this uh, preparation, in, uh, will put a syringe into radiometer because it happens often that uh, the preparation is in the vial, there is uh, uh, the life, uh, but we've introduced not 150. Yeah, I try to use strontium in two weeks. It's an important point, but you can always find an exception. I see that there isn't enough time, but maybe the answer to a question could be the full. We will, uh, now, we are, we are carrying out a pioneer study. It concerns uh, patients with thyroid cancer who receive therapy with regards to metastatic uh, cancer. We research chromosomic aberrations. And uh, as a follow-up, we, re we took the employees who don't have thyroid cancer. Other people don't do that, and uh, 
we took blood samples from both groups. So aberration turned out not to have direct correlation with the activity of the dose that a person get. It turned out that there are individual properties of people. The dose shows that uh, he's flooded with the iodine, but uh, he shows no signs of aberrations. Or we can see that person took a herald Hun times of hundreds millicurie and then she got pregnant and delivered and she had lower aberrations that a person that took um, iodine on one occasion. So maybe you had uh, just an individual case there. No, that was not single case. I had uh, um, those and all them. Well, that's an, um, that's an interesting thing because it contradicts to the uh, uh, big data we got. We also have 18 years experience of strontium use for radiotherapy and our experience shows that both Valeria and Ivan are correct. They're perfectly correct. That has to do with super scan for cancer 3 and we control pain syndrome 2. That's the answer for both questions. Uh, International Atomic Agency produces a standardized approach that has fluctuations and certain exceptions from the rule. 